Hello, I'm going to talk about socket programming and go over some prerequisites for my next socket videos. Okay, so you've got your socket object in C Sharp and in .NET in general really. And the socket object provides us with a abstraction from the WinSoc32 API, which is a Windows native API used for uh, network commun communication. Then you've got TCP client, UDP client, and TCP listener. And these are all abstractions from the socket class itself. The TCP listener would typically be used for the server and accepting connections and handling client sockets or TCP client objects. And the TCP client and UDP client objects are typically used for the client end, of course. And you would have to spawn them on both the client side and the server side. You need one solid coded um, client object on your client side and just like a dynamically created client object on your server side because the server is built to manage these connected clients and should be able to accept a bunch of these different clients from anywhere. A bit about TCB sockets. Like the name implies, sockets are outlets to be plugged into. So think of two walls with two power sockets and just connecting a power cord to each wall. And really that power cord is not for power, it's for information. And basically these walls would be communicating with each other. They may want to see which wall is taller or whatever. That's all that's the only way I can put it in. Like it's it's not really quite like a normal wall socket. You can't really have a proper analogy for it. The server sockets are for handshakes and acquiring client sockets. So you first need to shake hands with the client and after you do that your, your socket object is going to yield a client socket for you. And client sockets need two outlets. So the server is going to dynamically spawn your, your uh, client sockets when the clients connect and the client's going to have like a, a solid state client socket. And the client socket and the new socket spawned on the server side after connection are going to uh, connect to each other because they are the same kind of socket and they can communicate. And that's kind of how we can partition the sockets from each other and treat them as clients properly. And it's really nice. And sockets are like a box of chocolates you basically never know what you're going to get and um, that just means that you can receive any kind of data to your server and you, you really don't know what it is so you're going to end up wrapping a lot of your code in uh, try catch box and uh, what you need to do is analyze properties of your sockets and stuff to avoid raising exceptions and that's a bit about sockets. Um, I hope you enjoy the next videos that I make.